What's up guys, it's Sebastian Boyer, The Approved Guy, and today I'm gonna to be talking about starting a business and really focusing on your vision and your purpose. So before you start a business and form an entity and get set up and get started, um, the first thing you really wanna do is focus and or, or, or narrow in on what is your vision and what is your purpose, um, not just for the business, but in life. Now, you know, there's gonna be two types of businesses that you might wanna form. One is gonna be just a business strictly based on revenue and creating income, okay? You should have multiple streams of revenue, so you don't wanna put all of your hands in one basket. You wanna create multiple streams of revenue, so you may create and, and generate multiple businesses. Um, but at least one of your businesses, and hopefully it'd be the first one, should be the business that taps into your purpose and vision, which is not just for making money, but why you were created, why you're here on earth, and the value that you bring to other humans on earth. So what is your purpose? So to figure out what your purpose is, first you have to understand what is your gift? What kind of gifts do you have? We all have unique and different gifts and talents. Um, to, to know and identify what your gifts are, ask yourself a few questions. What do you like to do? What do you enjoy doing? Number one. Number two, what are you good at doing? And is what you enjoy doing and what you in, are good at doing, are they, are they compatible? Are they the same thing? Because you might enjoy singing, but you might not be a very good singer, right? Um, but you might enjoy um, drawing and you're a great artist. You can draw really nicely or, or paint or, or create art. So if your if your gift that you enjoy, uh, you know matches the 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 gift that you are um, talented with, then that is the the beginning of identifying your purpose. So let me repeat that: if the gift that you enjoy matches the gift that you've been talented with, then that is the beginning of identifying your purpose. Now, some of us think that. Well, the gift that I enjoy and that I'm talented with, nobody's interested in that. Nobody would want to, you know, buy into that business or product or service or whatever it may be. And what you have to understand is that there are millions and millions of people on planet Earth. And with social media, YouTube, and the ability to connect with people all over the planet, there is a community of people on Earth that are interested in and attracted to exactly the same thing that you are and many of them are looking for guidance many of them are looking for someone just like you to share your knowledge your experience with them many many times you what you think is of no value is of huge value to someone so don't think just because your gift is something you don't think is of value that others don't see it of value okay so what is your gift that you're good at what can you do well and you enjoy all right. Now, if you if you're good at doing something, but you don't really enjoy doing it, then I wouldn't I would say that's probably not your purpose because you're not going to enjoy it. And you don't want to focus. You don't want to make the number one reason or focus that you're starting a business um, only to make money. OK, again, if you have several streams of income, you have multiple businesses. Some of those businesses may be in place strictly for the monetary purpose of generating revenue and income. There's no purpose or gift in there, you know, except that it's going to create more revenue, which empowers you to do more business elsewhere, to be able to be a giver and give back to society and help other people, which is awesome. OK, but if the, if you're starting or your focus in life is only to make money, you're going to miss out on the reward and the and the, the gift that is given to you uh, to live in your purpose. There is nothing greater than living in purpose nothing not all the money in the world nothing can replace when you're doing what you were created to do to bless other people and to to share your gifts that you've been giving with others okay so what is your gift that you're good at and that you enjoy doing that's going to be the beginning of your purpose next you want to figure out how can you monetize that right maybe you're good at arts and crafts maybe you're you know uh, really good at um, understanding uh, people's um, 
I don't know, issues and, and you're, a, you're good at talking to people and helping them to kind of work through their problems, right? Maybe you're a, a, good, uh, a good writer and, you know, you, you could write blogs, you know. So, you know, what are you good at that you enjoy doing and how can you monetize that? There's so many different ways to monetize uh, a business, right? It could be consulting. It could be, um, it could be you know, a product that you're going to sell. So how are you going to monetize that? And, and so you want to kind of figure out how are you going to take that gift and that purpose and you're going to turn that into something that not only are you sharing, but you can monetize. And there's, again, so many different ways that you can do that. But ultimately from there, you want to kind of start mapping out your vision. Like, what do you see? Now, keep in mind, when we use the word vision, it's not the same as what you see because what you see will actually limit your vision. So when you're gonna start planning for the future in terms of your vision, it's probably best that you close your eyes. So this way you can see inwardly what you wanna manifest outwardly. If you keep your eyes open and you only focus on what's around you, that may actually limit your vision because you may look at your bank account and say, well, it's I don't have any money, I can't start a business, or I can't do that because of this or that based on what you're seeing. Or you may see other people doing it or doing what you want to do and think, well, I'm not as good as that person. Or, you know, they've been doing it longer than me. And these are all reasons that you're going to not proceed. And these are all things that can stop you on in your purpose and fulfilling your mission on earth. So close your eyes and envision yourself as being successful. Envision yourself doing what you love doing and blessing other people with it and envision that helping you to build prosperity and being able to give back to the to the earth to the planet to other people and to lift people up with your purpose with your gift and your talent that you're able to to share with others you know create see that vision in your mind and then the next step is to write it down the one thing that you can, well, there's two things that you we cannot control in life. And those two things are time and change. Time and change. Nobody, I don't care how many millions you have. I don't care how much experience you have. You cannot control time and you cannot control change. These are two things that are completely out of control. However, you may be able to steer time and the reality of change by creating a plan when you have a plan when we have a plan then that keeps us on course and it helps us to better manage our time it helps us to adjust to the change but if you don't have a plan in writing you don't have step by step what you're going to do short term for the first month you know a five month plan a one year plan a two year plan a five year plan then What's going to happen is life is going to happen. Time is going to get out of control. You know, somebody's going to come and say, hey, come over here. Let's do this. Let's do that. And because you don't have a plan, it's going to be easy just to say, okay. And before you know it, you're completely sidetracked and you are not on track. You're not living in your purpose. You're not following through with your vision because you didn't create a plan. So first things first, identify your gift, which is your talent that you enjoy. Yeah. Number two, create a vision. See that vision internally and then put that vision on paper as your plan. Write it out. So, so far we have not talked about creating, forming the technical aspects of, of starting a business. That's going to be in our next, my next video, uh, which is going to be starting a business first steps. It's going to be the second part to this video. But before you form a company and you start a, a, a company with, with a with, and you know determine your name and and where you're going to form the company and all these technical issues first things first is identify your purpose you know who are you why were you created what is your gift that you can bring to the table see that vision and create that plan okay design the plan and i promise you guys living in your purpose there's nothing like it um, no money can replace it um, because when you're living in your purpose, you know, you're a blessing to others Be, and you're, you're, you feel joy, you feel love. You don't feel like you're working because you're doing what you love to do. 
you know, there's no better gift than be doing what you love to do and making a living doing it. This is the approved guy. If this video is of value to you, please like, please subscribe, and please share. Click that notification bell for new video content. I truly appreciate you guys uh, watching and, and participating. Please leave me comments, give me some feedback, and guys, make it a great life.